New at six, a concerning discovery at the U of M. Scientists say they found more than a dozen different types of mold that can do this to your plants. Adam Del Rosso explains why our soggy summer is not helping. At first, this rhododendron plant just looks like it needs a little extra love. But through the microscope, you'll see something more destructive. It'll cause like a wilting or uh, it'll kill the tree or plant outright. Um, it's really species specific. But basically, mortality is the end goal for the, for the pathogen, and it's really good at what it does. It goes by the name Pythathra. It's a water mold that can kill many different trees, plants, and crops. Nick Raytar and his team found 22 different species in the state, 14 of which have never been detected here before. Minnesota's nurseries, we ship a lot of material in from other places um, around the country, be it Missouri, Oregon, Washington, where these Phytophthora are a little more prominent. And then they come, that, that's a potential avenue for the Phytophthora to come and be introduced into Minnesota's landscapes. Raytar is leading the research at the U, sampling plants and trees from all across the state. He says the Pythathra love our recent wet weather, potentially helping them spread even faster. It, it's a big concern, yes, for farmers, homeowners, and for like our state parks. You like going and hiking around with a nice canopy over your head. You imagine if the trees die, you wouldn't have any of that. Raytar says his team will continue to collect samples to help with detection. But the next step will be to find out just how harmful these minuscule mold spores can be here in Minnesota. If we know who's here, we can help mitigate the losses and the introductions into the landscape and hopefully, you know, not cause a lot of urban loss or natural stand loss. Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News. If you think a plant or tree around your home is infected, you can get it tested at the U of M lab. If it is infected, that plant will need to be destroyed.